Good day everyone, my name is John Edrich Dima Felix and I'm here to explain to you, to discuss to you the material deprivation and attachment theory. John Volvay or Edward John Mosty Volvay was a psychologist, psychiatrist, and psychoanalysis. This specialization or profession was study to the abnormalities and normalities of a mental states. And this study the conscious and subconscious of the mind. John Bolby also famous for his works in the attachment theory. Later on, we will discuss the attachment and attachment theory. John Bolby was being compared to Sigmund Freud. Sigmund Freud was famous for his psychoanalysis theory, the id, ego, and superego. John Bolby says that the mental health and behavioral problems could be attributed to the early childhood. So, na-explain lang nito na ang mental health and behavioral problems ay maaaring magsimula sa kanyang pagsilang. So, attachment theory by John Bolby. He worked in the Child Guidance Clinic in London when he see many emotional breakdown children. This observation conclude that the relationship between the children and mother are very important important to develop the emotional, social, and cognitive development. So, nalaman din dyan, Volvay, na ang separation between the mother and infant are the main problem kasi dito na bubuo ang mental problems and behavioral problems of a child. Attachment, which is, this is the important thing between the child and the caregiver because this involves the exchange of comfort and pleasure. Then, John Volby was credit of being the father of attachment. When we say monotropy, this is the needs of the baby in her early childhood. Example of this is to switch the love, care, and understanding. So, when we say maternal deprivation, this is the lack of responsibility of the mother or the caregiver to the child. Hindi niya naibibigay yung pangangailangan isang baby sa kanyang pagsilang. Example of this is which yung care or the love that deserve of the baby. So, Volby believed that the attachment behaviors such as proximity seeking, which means the restore of the closeness, kung hindi may bibigay ng moms ang closeness na hinihingi ng baby, this can cause the threat and stress to the babies. So, the Volby hypothesized that both infants and the mother have evolved a biological need to stay in contact with each other. So, ang kailangan lang naman dito sa theory of attachment is the closeness of the mother and build a strong relationship between the mother. Babies are born with tendency to display certain innate behaviors called social releasers. When we say social releasers, these are the automatically response of the baby with their moms to help the proximity and contact with them. These are the crying, smiling, and crawling. Example of this is crying. Kapag nawala sa tabi niya ang kanyang mom, syempre iyak siya. Smiling naman if the baby feel safe to his mom. Uh, and the important is the care and responsiveness of the mom to their child to build the relationship with them. Main points of ball by theory. Number one is the importance of attachment to their early childhood to feel them safe, to feel them the safeness and comfortable in this world. The important thing of this is the the responsiveness of the mother to give the care that they want of the children or child. Number two is the responsibility of the caregiver and mother to give the continuous care to their babies in the first two years of life. This is important to them, to the babies. The three is the consequences of material deprivation. When we say maternal deprivation, these are the not giving the emotional care to the babies. The following are the delinquency, deduced intelligence, increased aggression, depression, and affectionless psychopath. The first consequence of material deprivation is delinquency. This is the criminal action of a adult or child. Um, example of this is kapag yung child nga hindi na ibibigay ng mother or na-separate siya na matagal na matagal.
nawawalan siya ng pagkakatiwala sa mga nasa paligid niya at nawawalan siya ng pakay. Pwede siyang maulong ng ganun. Reduce intelligence, this is are the this is the low IQ, ang mga mindless people na maari ding maka-affect sa child kapag na long long separation sa kanila or di na sila nabigyan ng emotional care of their mothers. The third one is the increase aggression. Example na lang this is yung pananakit ng magulang sa kanyang bata. So yung bata, maaari niya ring gayahin at igawa sa mga mga nakakabata sa kanya. So nai-inherent yung ganong asta ng asta ng tao. When we say depression, this is the feeling of unworthy person or sobra mong lungkot. Nawawala ka na ng gana sa lahat and napipil mo na hindi ka na nila kailangan sa mundo mo to. When we say affectionless psychopathy, who cannot exhibit caring behaviors, concern, or affection for other people. Nawawala ka na ng pake sa mga nasa paligid mo. Ang mahalaga is ikaw na lang or... So, Robertson involved, I believe that short-term separation from attachment figure leads to distress. So, Dave Robertson involved, I found out that meron ding apekto ang short-term separation. So, they found three progressive stages of distress. The protest, despair, and detachment. When we say protest, yung pagiging rebellion ng isang baby or ng isang tao. Despair, which means being loss of absence. Being loss, absence of hope. And yung despair. When we say detachment, being separated, unworthy person or not important person. James Robert was a psychiatric social worker and psychoanalysis based on based at the Tavistock Clinic and Institute London from 1948 until 1976. So in number five, the relationship between the primary caregiver and the child. Uh, para sa akin. Nare-represent ng picture na to yung cycle between the primary caregiver and the child. Child, kung ano binibigay na behavior ng primary caregiver sa child, ay lang din yung binibigay ng child sa primary caregiver. These are the first is the positive and love, secure. Second, and love rejected, avoidant. Third, angry and confused and resistant. Cycle lang to kung ano yung behavior na binibigay ng child and kung how to develop of internal working model. So, John Volvay come up uh, observation and investigation to the portfolio study which the relationship between the infant and mother during the first five years was most crucial to socialization. It means napaka-importante yung first five years of relationship between the babies and mothers. He believed that the disruption of primary relationship could lead to higher incident of juvenile delinquency. So, na-explain niya rin ang, ang pagkakaroon ng separation between the mother and baby and material deprivation ay maaaring magkaroon ng crime, criminal action between the mental problem of the babies and baby problems of the babies. So, ang aim ng study niya is to investigate the long-term separation of maternal deprivation that affects the intellectual, social, and emotional development. Gusto lang malaman ni John Borbay yung mga merong kaso ng maternal deprivation. And the procedure is meron siyang sinelect na 88 children at hinati niya to sa dalawang group. Ang 44 na first 44 is juvenile thieves. Uh, yun yung may mga kaso ng mag may kaso ng stealing and and the uh, other 44 group is the control group na meron namang mga kaso ng emotional problems but yet but not yet committed any crimes so John Volvay conduct the interview to the children na iimbestiga niya ang findings niya ay more than a half of jubilant teams are separated from longer than 6 months. Sa control group naman, merong dalawa ang na-separate. He also found out that the 14 teams are show the affectionless psychopath ay yung mga wala ng pake or wala silang pake sa mga nasa paligid niya. And na-pound na, na din ni Valvi ang 86% of affectionless psychopath in one group experienced the long period of maternal separation. 
ito yung mga na long term separation ka na nga tapos di ka pa binigyan ng care so the only 17% of thieves that diagnose affectionless psychopath had experienced maternal separation only two of the group show the experience of prolonged separation in first five years So, ang conclusion ni John Volvay, ang maternal separation and deprivation ay maaaring maka-apekto sa emotional damage na isang bata in terms kung paano na rin siya mag-behave and kung paano na rin siya mag-isip. So, dun sa investigasyon niya, ang affectionless psychopath ang nagbunga ng lahat ng ito. Dahil sa separation at deprivation, Nagkaroon ng mga bata ng affectionless psychopath na lack of emotional development and pagkakaroon ng lack of concern for others, lack of guilt, and inability to form meaningful and lasting relationship. So, phases of attachment. Phase 1, birth to 3 months. Promotes the bonding and emotional investment. On the phase 2, from 3 to 6 months, began to reserve their attachment behavior for the people they prefer. On our next slide. Phase 3, from 6 months to 3 years, they have developed a working model of their favorite individual. From phase 4, from 3 years until childhood ends, start to comprehend that their caregivers have goals and plans of their own so i hope you enjoy my discussion and thank you for watching and god bless